Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, No Weapon That Is Formed Against Me Shall Prosper. Lord, will you are edified. Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against you, you referring to the elect of Israel, shall prosper, meaning what? Achieve or accomplish a goal, all right? And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Why? Because these individuals have the Holy Spirit. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahweh. Focal point, no weapon that is formed or created against you shall prosper. And the ultimate weapon are the Edomites, beginning with the nobility. And let's prove this in the spirit. When you focus on weapon, right? It's Strong's H thirty six twenty seven pronounced as Ka La Ya or Ka La Ya, and it means what implement of hunting or war. Implement means tool of hunting or war. Okay. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord Yahweh. Now, if you can receive this in the spirit, Cain later became Esau through the process of reincarnation, okay? Now, for the term Cain in the Hebrew, Strong's H7014, pronounced as Kwa Yan, right? And this is a Nomen omen, which means name prediction, and according to Strong's H seventy and twelve, Kwa Yan goes into spear. What is a spear? A spear is a form of a weapon, right? A spear is a form of a weapon. And Esau is a weapon of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, that will be utilized and is being utilized to come against our people. Case in point. Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, referring to the Edomites, beginning with their nobility, hence the international bankers. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Who are the wicked? According to Malachi 1 and 4, the wicked are the Edomites, based on the lineage of their fathers. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is your sword. A sword is nothing but a weapon. Okay? A spear is a weapon. 
Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger. Now this is Isaiah prophesied in the spirit, right? O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand. Staff is symbolic for power, okay? In their hand, meaning my control, is my indignation. Indignation is righteous anger. And the Edomites are the modern day Assyrians. Verse 6 I, referring to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, will send him, all right, referring to the nation of Edom, beginning with the nobility of Edom. Remember, they control this entire system against an hypocritical nation. Referring to the nation of Israel. Two thirds of our people. Will be destroyed. In America. The non-elect. Scattered throughout the four corners of the world. Will be destroyed. And against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. All right. And guess what? This will happen. Hence, Jeremiah 30 and 7. OK, but the focal point of this lesson is that no weapon, including the nation of Edom, will prosper against the elect. Because Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is in control of all and everything. Okay? Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am He, referring to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And there is no power with me. I kill and I will make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay. Enough said. Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living the living is a representation for the individuals that are spiritually aware hence the elect that the living may know that the most high rule in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men Referring to the Edomites. Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord Yahweh is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he know them that trust in him. Alright, so Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to guide the elect. And protect the elect during these evil times. Okay. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 14. I'll get to the point. Good is said against evil and life against death. 
So it is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look, so like it, and the sinner against the godly. So look on all the works of the Most High. And there are two and two, one against another. Now, when you think about this scripture, you must equate the term duality. Okay? But the point of this is that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, control both sides. And it's deemed that the righteous will prevail. Lord, will your edify Shalom.